Hello, how's it going guys? It's me, DeBoss, here with another video for you guys for today. Today, guys, we have another small YouTube interview for you guys. And today's video is actually going to be a bit different than other ones that I've done. Not so much in the sense of that I'm not interviewing a small YouTuber, more in the sense of how the video was actually done. So today's interview, guys, we actually are going to be interviewing a YouTuber by, known as James Whiting. Really amazing guy. Um, I actually, actually talked to you quite a bit on Facebook. Um, I asked him the questions. He was a really cool dude to deal with. He sent me over his clips. Um, similar to Emilio, but honestly more professional edited. Uh, he actually edited his own portion for the video, so it's about five minutes, of course. And he actually edited all that stuff for me, so he actually saved me some time in making this video to get it out to, you know, share his interview and his channel and whatnot. So really awesome for that man. Thank you so much. And he actually directed me to another guy who was actually pretty cool with that I uh, actually have arranged an interview with, and he sent me his clips. So uh, he actually introduced me to somebody else that I'm doing an interview with sometime later this week. So that was really awesome of him too, helping out a friend. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to go check out his channel uh check out his channel like in the description down below he does a lot of vlog content as well as some comedy content so i think you guys will enjoy it so go check out the link watch some of his videos see if you enjoy them and uh give him a sub because i think the guy actually deserves it he's a really cool dude but with all that in mind guys let us get into his youtube story hey so first of all i want to say thank you to the boss official for inviting me onto his channel for reaching out to me to do this interview and to send me these seven questions so that brings me on to my first question which is what made me start doing youtube well basically i would watch a lot of youtube and i was thinking to myself well why can't i do youtube you know and i started off with a gaming channel and the gaming channel didn't take off for me so i thought oh, okay maybe this isn't something that i'm passionate enough about to carry on doing so i stopped for a while and lo and behold i started recording things that me and my family would do and it just escalated from there i started seeing vloggers like casey ne neerstat and peter mckinnon doing videos and i thought why not just start uploading again and see what we get and from when i did my gaming channel to now it's polar opposites i've gained more traction doing this this style of vlogging that i do i do lots of peter mckinnon inspired b-roll which is another question obviously which we'll come on to in a minute um which brings me on to question number two did i have any inspiration for doing youtube and the answer is quite simply yes i had the two main influences that i were watching at the time when i first come back to YouTube was Casey Neistat or Neistat depends on where you're from and Peter McKinnon and I, I found what they did really entertaining and really intriguing and I wanted to be a part of that I wanted a piece of that cake so to speak so I thought oh, okay I'll just start uploading and see if anyone's interested in what I produce or the content I make and just so happens that they do um, question three what's been a great YouTube experience for you so far I met a few good YouTubers and we've started to build um, a community and now every fortnight, so every other Sunday, we do a Google Hangout, a live Google Hangout and we we bring on special guests every week. So, er, so every two weeks a new guest will come on and me and a guy called Ernie Schefter will interview them and they usually last between two to three hours and it's all live on Google Hangout for everyone to see. And that has been um, a really, really great experience for me, meeting new people all the time and interviewing them just like this video here, but we're interviewing them live as opposed to a recorded video. Um, any future plans for me and YouTube? I'm going to carry on doing my vlogs, my comedy videos and my tips because I do do three different types of videos. And the future goal for me is to carry on doing our, we, uh, our fortnightly live streams and then eventually push them into a podcast. Um, these are really, really long talks we have, um, and we have lots of fun with it. So if any of you want to stop by any time, then stop by. A funny moment that I recall, um, a few of my Friday fun day videos, like when I first started back on YouTube, I used to do Friday fun day. So every Friday I'd do a comedy skit, a parody, a music parody. Um, and they've just changed from Friday fun day now just to a comedy on, on a Friday. And I've had some real, really funny moments doing that. Um, I wear, I, I dress up in wigs and in different outfits and stuff. And we have a lot of fun doing those videos. Um, question six, what was my, what is my favorite and least favorite game? See, I grew up um, 
late 90s, early 2000s, and Nintendo 64 was a big thing back then. So I love the, the Zelda series from the Nintendo 64, so Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. I even love the Perfect, Perfect Dark game, the original one um, on the Nintendo. Um, my least favorite games at the moment would be Fortnite, Call of Duty, Battlefield, those type of games, because those types of games are catered to the, the, the masses, and I feel like when you deal with the masses, you, 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 it, it kind of takes the fun out of the game. Um, and a major goal of mine, a major goal of mine is to create a community. I don't necessarily want to be huge on YouTube. I just want to be able to create a community where we all help each other grow. And that's ultimately my goal. It's just to push forwards with a community because us smaller YouTubers, we've got to stick together. Um, and the smaller, the smaller groups of people can take down big corporations. So the, the more that us small YouTubers stick together, the better. And that's definitely a goal of mine, just to build a community and just keep building from there on. But as I say, that's the end of the seven questions now. I want to thank you again to Boss Official for inviting me onto your channel. I hope that we can do a collaboration maybe on my channel in the future uh, and get you out there on my channel. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone and hopefully I'll see you on my channel soon. Peace. And that's gonna do for today's video, guys. Like I mentioned, there wasn't really much for me to do with it. Um, he did actually edit his own portion for the questions, which again was really great. Again, it saved me some time to for editing this to get this out for you guys. So, uh, big thanks to James for being on the channel. Really awesome talking with you, man. Hopefully, like you said, man, we can. Uh, it'll be awesome to do a collaboration with you sometime in the future. Um, <laughs> It'd just be really awesome to do. Uh, but yeah, if you ever want to do that, let me know. But other than that, though, guys, check out his channel in the description, like I mentioned before. See if his content's for you. And uh, go give his videos a watch and subscribe if you're interested. But with all that in mind, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new with that bell notification on in case my future videos and live streams if you do so wish. And comment down below what you guys thought of today's interview and if you want to do a small YouTube interview yourself or just an interview in general. But once again, guys, thank you for one, once again for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, bye.